It was pretty good. Um, felt like my round was really solid. The drives are really tough. Um, a lot of tight fairways, a lot of tough greens. So just hitting greens in the center and just hoping that a putt will fall here and there. 13 was just a really solid hole together. It was really easy to just get there and just make a birdie. Just trying to go out and hit good shots and make pars. Kept it really simple. Um, I usually feel like even par in a qualifier does pretty well. I had like 150 into the wind and hit it to like three feet, made birdie. So I was, I made all pars up to that point, got it to one under. So it's just a matter of going out there and taking it one shot at a time and having fun. And uh, I mean, obviously it's a pretty tough golf course, so play solid and keep from making big numbers and you're gonna have a good chance. I was playing in the practice round. I thought the hardest part would be walking the course, but um, you know, the staff and volunteers have provided us with nice shuttles through the long walks, so that has been nice. And um, all I've been doing is just going with my plan and nothing too surprising happening. Keep following my plan, don't like doubt myself or anything, and you know, keep my head up high when things get rough. And keep smiling. Yeah. I played really well today. Um, I hit my iron shots very well and I putted, putted pretty good, so I'm feeling good so far. Every hole is a challenge out here, so if you could just get through them and par, par bogey and keep it under the big numbers, it'd, it'd be okay. So it, went, it went really well. I scrambled really well. I hit some bad drives, but I made pars out of those and hit some good pots. And hopefully I can put a good round together tomorrow. And it's just gonna be the same it's always been throughout the whole tournament so far. I'm just gonna try to give myself birdie looks and from the center of the greens and just play really smart and not make any numbers. I still can't believe it, honestly. It's so crazy. I came into this tournament with no expectations. I just come off from like a little break and this was my last AJG event and I was like, you know, might as well give it a shot and I came out with the win. Just really going out there to have fun. That was my only goal. In the back of my mind, I kind of thought about winning, you know, and make it worth it, but the main thing in my head was just going out there to have fun. Honestly, like I kind of just wanted to go out there with no expectations, like I said, like not expecting myself to shoot a certain score, play a certain way, because that just doesn't really work for me. So I was just going out there and hitting the best shot I could every single shot. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to thank AJGA for, you know, hosting another great tournament and 12 Oaks for letting us play on this beautiful course. Tough walk, but definitely worth it. And of course, I'd like to thank my parents just for being with me forever. And they couldn't be here today, but I know they're cheering me on from home. And lastly, I'd like to thank my swing coach, Chuck Wyke, for sticking with me for 13 years now, helping me get to where I am. I just, I'm happy, you know, and I'm excited. Uh, I just played well this weekend and had fun. Probably hole number two. Um, I had uh, I had three birdies on that hole all three days, so probably that one. Um, honestly, every hole, every hole's never, never look at a hole and you're thinking this is the easy hole. So um, I'd like to thank my parents and my brother for coming to watch me and uh, AJGA for. Um, putting this tournament on and for hosting such a great event. Um, I love this course. I love the, I love how the course, the format of the course. And um, I played here last year. I didn't really play like how I wanted, but I think um, I'm gonna do well this week. Um, it feels really good. Um, today, I like hit my shots really nice. Um, my putts were all just going in. <laughs> and so I think overall, like today was really good. So last year, um, the AJGA um, tournament here, um, the beneficiary uh, we were told would be the Stacey Wolf Breast Cancer Foundation. And it was just in its infancy, it was a dream, um, but we weren't really sure what was gonna happen there. But through the generous donation of the um, partner, we were able to get that started. Um, but like I said, it took a few, I had no idea the details that would have to be um, completed in order to go public and to be nonprofit and all that came with that. But because of, of a dream that I had, but someone supporting that dream and the AJGA being a part of that, it's made it what it is today and it blows my mind. And especially this tournament, it has tripled what we did last year. So I think the, the people that are gonna be touched and gonna be supported, it just is incredible to think about. Um, I, I'm really thankful for TaylorMade for sponsoring us just because I use their irons. All my wedges and irons are TaylorMade and I hit them really well. So I'm really thankful for them. I played really well today. 
but it was really windy than yesterday and we played like an hour earlier but still it's a nice weather and the course is in good conditions and uh, I really enjoyed playing in this pretty course. It feels good that the work's paying off and um, it's kind of funny just to see all the members out here supporting that uh, I play with every day so it's kind of cool to see uh, how much they care about me. I think even though that was a really memorable experience winning my first ADGA, I think I accomplished more with this win because well, my scores have gotten better for one so I think improvement, improvement is definitely what we're looking at and I'm really proud of myself for what I've done here. Um, I think it, my mental game has improved so much. Yeah, I mean, really putted well, which was, which was super helpful. And uh, hit a lot of fairways, hit a lot of good quality iron shots. And it's a pretty simple round, just didn't make many mistakes and hoping to capitalize on the start. It's great, it's my second year back here. I really enjoyed it last year and um, it's good to be back. It's a great layout and it's super fun to play more than anything. Yeah, you know, it feels awesome. Just, I guess see all the hard work paying off and, you know, just a good feeling to play well. So I was very happy with how I played and hope it continues. Thank you so much for getting this golf course in great shape and just giving, giving all of us the opportunity to come out here and compete. I really appreciate it. Golf course was in phenomenal shape. So. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the qualifier round for the AJGA Preview at Turkey. means a lot just because this is my first AGA uh, event too. Um, so just to be able to come out here um, with really no expectations on how it was going to go and finish good. So yeah. My favorite shot from today was when it was the par 5 number thir 12 I think and I made a 60 foot putt for birdie and it was really windy so it felt really good. So like this is my first event in America in like two, like three years. So I was very, very nervous. So I was trying my best to not get overwhelmed and I was just trying to keep steady and just keep my head like in the game and not think about anything else. So winning for me was like, I'm still trying to like process it because I was in my head, I was just telling myself, you know, just do what you gotta do and like whatever the result may be, like that's just that, you know. I just got up and down a lot and I really, really putted well on the screens. Um, I roll them well, I read them well. Um, there was one hole, I hit like a 42 footer for birdie and that, that, was, that was one of the best, one of the best uh, putts of the, putts of the week, but I have some stars to go out and do well in other tournaments, hopefully win a couple more and um, hopefully get that D1 scholarship I always wanted and maybe even go to the next level from there.